Good morning, my friends. This is Green Light the Day with Rosemary. Rise and shine. <laughs> Another cup. I know I introduced you to the cup that Janie gave me. This is the one that Antonia gave me, and it's a rooster cup. I always get coffee on it. I am into roosters. You guys should know that by now, right? <laughs> Everything shows a rooster. <laughs> anyway. So, how am I going to green light your day, my day, today? This week has been uh, a little trying, a little, you know, just a lot of things going on. And it's just life that happens, right? But here lately, you know, even at the gym, I've been hearing the word, why? Why me? Why does that happen? You know? Why, why, why? I even had a conversation with my daughter about the word why. And so today I want to read a few things to you. Today I want you to ask yourself this one question. Why not you? Why not you to do something for work that you love? Why not you to have a healthy body? Why not you to have healthy love? Why not you to be, have, or do anything, I mean anything, that you've ever dreamed? We are so quick to think others are deserving over ourselves. The truth is that we are all deserving, so why not you? Why not me? Why not you know, have you, ever, have you ever stopped to think that? I asked myself, you know, and I thought about these things, you know, as people were talking to me in different situations. And uh, at the gym, the question was, you know, why is it always the same routine, you know? And, and you know, and then I thought about it. Uh, the routine is because we're all suffering from the same thing, most of us. Most of us at eight, eight, that that morning group, all of us have either a leg issue, knee issue, hip issues. It's it's really. It, I'm just saying because I've spoken to the teacher, and the teacher has to do the things that we are capable of doing, right? So there is an answer, but we have to ask the right questions, right? And the question we should have asked the teacher is, you know, could she, could she up the exercise, right? Could she do some other routine uh, for us? And we did. And it worked, you know? Instead of us over here, psh, 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 why, 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 why? Just ask the right questions, right? And we got an answer. If I were to say, God, why me? about the bad things, then I should also ask, God, why me about the good things that have happened in my life? You see, we're always somehow attracted more to the bad, you know? People always ask me, I mean, I'll, I'll use me as an example, you know, how can you be forgiving? How can you have so much love? How can you, you know, have a smile on your face knowing that all these tragedies have happened in your life? It happens. And I, I want to be grateful, you know. I want to also be grateful for the good things that have happened in my life, not just the bad things, you know, because we're always outweighing the bad instead of, you know, weighing the good as well. You know, the bad things in life seem to overtake all the time the good things. I hope I'm making sense. Do not pray for an easy life. Pray for the strength to endure a difficult one. A difficult one. You know, there's so much that we can be uh, asking ourselves when it comes to the word why. You know, why not? You know, why not me? Or why 
why is it always why does it always have to be that other person it's you know is it because they took the easy road and I took the hard road or how does that go how does life balance out eventually right and I thought about something that um, was read to me as, as a little girl in Sunday school and it's this I asked for strength and God gave me difficulties to make me strong I asked for wisdom and God gave me problems to solve I asked for prosperity and God gave me a brain to work with I asked for courage and God gave me danger to overcome. I asked for love, and God gave me troubled people to help. I asked for favors, and God gave me opportunities. I received nothing I wanted, but I received everything. And I do mean everything. I need it. I was read that when I was just a little girl, and I, I'll never forget it. Of course, I, I learned to pray differently. <laughs> but I don't know if I, I've really said anything today, but why? Why not? Why is it always, why do we always think that, you know, we should say, why me? You know? What about why me when, when we're, when we're, when we're rejoicing in the happiness of life, you know? Do we ever stop to say, why me? Why me? Why am I so happy? <laughs> no, we always say, why me? Why am I in torture and pain and suffering, you know? I just want to say that I am a very grateful person and the whys in life come and go and uh, maybe we should ask ourselves you know why not me see you later guys and uh, I'll see you when I see you bye